And so number one, the topic of today is gonna to be about first pencil closing. Now I'm gonna explain this to you. I got in the automotive space when I was 18, dead Ian on broke. Every single one of you, I don't want you to be me, I want you to go be you, and I want you to go get the best life that you've ever wanted. Now what I wanna to talk to you about right now is honestly, honestly, are you in the top 1% in the space at what you do, are you that great? And if you're not, it's okay, because I wasn't either, okay? And I wanna tell you this, I don't care about who you are, what I care about is who you're becoming. Sam, that's all that matters, okay? We do not care if you were last, last month, you can be first this month. But I'm gonna tell you this, and you need to write this down, the only way to the top 1%, the only way to wealth is through self-education. There is no other way. Okay, you've got to be refined by the fire, you've got to practice, you've got to study, you've got to have repetition, and you've got to have good training. You have to have it. If you don't have it, listen to me. And here was my problem. Can anybody relate to this? So when I started in the automotive space, I was 18 years old, um, I used to get cut in half. Sam, I don't know if that happens anymore, but when we started, I'm 43, when you couldn't close a deal, you got cut in half. There was nothing, there were, you didn't say nothing. Hey, the pencil's $5.99 a month, you came back for $500. You're like, hey boss, I got $500, I got a commitment. He's like, uh, Bob sells tower, and then boom, man, Bob went in, closed it at $5.99, and you spent three hours with somebody, you got half the deal. We didn't have closers, okay? It was just salesmen that were better than you took half your deal. That was the way it worked, okay? Now, I want to tell you this. When, when every time that somebody splits your deal, you give up half your commission, you get good real fast. Okay, you either quit or you get good real fast or you just lower your standards, one or the other. And I'm not a lower the standard type guy. Remember I told you this, every single seat that you guys are sitting in, you're in a minimum of a half a million dollar a year seat. Listen to me, every one of you are in a minimum of a, mil a half a million dollar a year seat. Now, if you see that, then that's what you're gonna get. Now, the only difference is do you acquire the skill to get there? So the customer experience is number one. I want everybody to write this down. When I talk to a client, am I talking to a client like the value for today, or am I talking to the client for the value of a lifetime for them? And I'm gonna explain this. As I go to talk to you guys today and I go through this communication with you, I'm gonna explain to you a method that I use that I want to share with all of you so when we get off the call, you could number one, go make a bunch of money this weekend, which is what I love, but really what is better than money is seeing your customers happy, taking the pressure out of the deal, and putting nothing but peace in it because they met a professional, okay? And by the way, can I explain this to all of you? Have, have any of you guys seen that in 2005, you could buy a Chevy Impala brand new on the showroom floor for $12,000? dollars a payment was 200 a month and now they're fifty thousand dollars and payments are seven seven hundred a month guys are people making more money or are these things get more expensive they're not really making more money but prices are going up it's not your fault you didn't do it. it has nothing to do with you you're not a bad person but the problem is is that we're in a world full of amateurs did everybody agree raise your hand if you believe the automotive space is a world full of amateurs Okay. 100% man, 100%. Okay, so this call is gonna be about this. The great separator. That's, the, that's what we're about, the great separator. And every single one of you, if you're an amateur on this call right now, I'm gonna give you yet another opportunity to become a pro. And all I need is your mind. Turn your phone off, turn everything down, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, be ready to take notes, listen, consciously be aware. They say if you're around five crackheads, you'll become the sixth. I do believe that. But if you're around five millionaires, you won't become the sixth if you're not consciously listening and you're not willing to change. By the way, people don't change until they change the way they think. Okay, so I want you on this call to change the way you think about how negotiating is done. I want you to understand negotiating isn't negotiating. What it is, it's the way you present something is the way people perceive it. So I'm gonna show you how to present something, right? Okay, so Sam, I'm gonna give you an example and I wanna to talk to you for a second. Everybody just listen to me and then I'm gonna go straight into the pencil. Okay, Sam, so I'm gonna kinda of run with you. So okay. mo most people, when they pencil a, d a deal, you have a payment that's a lot higher than someone wants and clearly pay car prices on cars are getting really expensive. So people aren't gonna come in and say, oh man, I want a $750 payment. Dude, listen, they're expensive. When people go to present the pencil, right? And you go out, you know, do we do this? Do we go in and we just lay it across the desk and we're quiet? We sit there, is that you? That, I'm not hating on anybody, I'm just saying, is that you? Or do you go in, you say something like this, hey Sam, great news, we got a way, way to go, just talk to my general manager, I wanted to let you know, you guys make really good money, so you guys qualify for, for the advanced equity program. What this is, Sam, this is a, a program that allows you to get the title back in your glove box faster. Isn't that cool, Sam? Yeah. Now listen, Sam, the bigger the payment you pay, the faster you, may, you, you, you pay your car off. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question, Sam. When you trade, when you bought your last car, the car you're trading in to me today, if the dealership would have showed you that you could have paid an additional $100 a month and your car would have been paid off by now, would you want to see that option? 
I would. Yeah, if I could afford it. They probably didn't show you those options, though, did they, Sam? Sam, I'm going to sit down right now and I'm going to show you some different options that you qualify because you couldn't qualify for, I couldn't show it to you, but that you qualify for and I'm going to allow you to put the title back in your glove box faster and I want you to realize as you're looking at these numbers, the bigger the payment you pay, the faster you pay your car off, okay? Now cars are getting more expensive, but I don't want you to finance this thing for a mortgage. Let's check it out. Boom. I'm going to set the tone for the negotiation. What did I just tell you, Sam, that the payments are going to be a little more than you want, but I told you the benefits to paying bigger payments are paying your cars off faster. That's the truth, okay? That's it. If you go finance a home on 15 years or 30 years, bigger payment on 15 years. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to go out on a 36 month. It could mean that you're on 84 months, but you're not going 96, okay? I just want you to understand the way you present something is the way people perceive it.